Good day students. My name is teacher Tanisha. I hope you all are fine. My topic for today is place value of hundreds and expanded form. As we had learned earlier, the place value of ones and tens, the same way we are going to learn the place value of hundreds. As we know students, 10 strips in a bundle make up to 110. Now here we have few more strip bundle of strips that will help us to make it 100 so let's start let us start counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so here we have got nine bundles that is equal to 9 10 tens and zero ones that is 90 Yes, so we will add one more bundle to it to make it 100. So this all 10 bundles, that is 10 tens, make up to 100. Yes, I repeat, 10 tens make up to 100. As we learn students, 10 tens makes up to 100. Let us move on to the expanded form. Remember students, Always read the hundreds digit first and then read the tens and ones digit together. Now here we have a number 126. So we say the num hundreds number first is 126. That is we read the hundreds digit first and then we read the tens and ones digit together. So we write it as one. 100, 2 tens and 6 ones. Let us now learn to write the expanded form using place value. So first we will do with the two digit numbers that is tens and ones. So we take the number 24. Now tell me students, now which is tens and which is ones? Yes, correct. So 4 is ones and two is tens so we can write the expanded form as two tens and four ones or we can write it as twenty plus 4 which is 24. Let us solve one more example. We have the number 76. So the expanded form will be 7 tens and 6 ones or 70 Plus 6 is equal to 76. Now students, the this is known as the expanded form. And this is known as the standard form. Let us now move on to 3 digit number. We have here number 156. So tell me students, just try to guess how will you write the expanded form? Yes, we will write 100, 5 tens and 6 ones or we can write it as 100 plus 50 plus 6 is equal to 156. So, this is the expanded form and this is called the standard form. Now, we will solve one more example that is 324. So, we will write it as 300, 2 tens and 4 ones or 300 plus 20 plus 4 
which is equal to 324. Now let us try to solve this. We have number 287. Now tell me which one will be hundreds? Yes, correct. 2 will be hundreds. 8 will be tens. And 7 will be ones. So now the other way. Yes, so we'll write it as 200 plus 80 plus 7, which is equal to 287. Now the next one, 463. So hundreds will be 4, correct. 6 will be tens and 3 will be ones. And the other way, 400 plus 60 plus 3, which makes up to 460.